Survivor engagement is making sure that you have an understanding of what the experiences are from the survivor's perspective. Having an understanding makes you realise some of the services that need to be improved and other services which need to be developed. So that's really the motivation for public services to take on the challenge of listening to survivors, having those mechanisms in place which are fit for purpose. Unless you've been through it, you cannot understand. In my eyes, you cannot make policies, procedures, build services without the voice of survivors. It's ludicrous. Any other industry, any other thing, you would ask experts. You can't simply invite them in and hope that that's enough. You've got to pay them to come in and talk to your staff. And also feeding back to the survivors six months later, as a result of what you told us, we have now acted differently. So you make it business as usual. You don't make it a once a six month event or a once a month event. You make it something that you can do all the time. And that means that relationships build, trust builds and performance improves. By inviting us to these things and allowing us to speak, it's making us feel important and it's using our experience in a positive way. We know what problems there are. We know what problems we're facing. We need to put real stories, real people and real voices to these strategies and these policies. Good survivor involvement is making sure that there are flexible ways in which we engage with a whole range of survivors, not just the usual suspects. It's very important that we don't just look at a one-size-fits-all approach. So once survivors are able to share with you their stories, their journey, their experiences, you can ensure that all of your legislation, all of your policies, all of your strategies are better informed and therefore ultimately produce a better outcome. The business case, it costs millions and millions of pounds to deal with the problems that arise from not engaging with survivors. Therefore, isn't it important that we actually intervene early and we listen to what they have to say and do something about it? We've been silenced by fear and abuse for so long. It means everything for survivors to have our voices listened to, to be heard and to be a part of the change.